To understand the rise and threat of Islamism across the whole world, we must go back to 1979 and the paramilitary coup in Iran. In this video, we're going to explain how that event not only changed Iran from being a liberal secular society and turned it into an Islamic socialist dystopia, but created the domino effect across the world. Yes, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard and the Iranian regime who came into power in 1979 with a bit of a help from the CIA and of course the French and a bit of the Brits since uh, MI6 uh, because they were afraid that the communists from Soviet Union could take over Iran and they thought well the Shah is going so let's back these guys, they could be our new puppets. The whole thing backfired because the next day they came out on the streets and chanted death to America. But how did it start? The Islamic coup in Iran in 1979 also created the pathway for the rest of the Middle East and now the whole world uh, to have different branches of Islamism to create their own one world government under the umbrella of Islam. This is the Islamic Revolutionary Guard who have been trying since uh, the, the late 70s and early 80s to export Islamism across the world. First, we have to start with Hezbollah in Lebanon. Of course, early 80s, we saw the initial signs of Hezbollah who were initially inspired by Ayatollah Khomeini in Tehran and how he wanted to create a one world government of Islam. And of course, the Lebanese civil war was a perfect opportunity for these guys uh, to empower their opportunity and go against Israel and with the help of the Iranian regime directly uh, trained and uh, supplied they decided to continue and grow and grow until they finally took over. So this is Hezbollah in Lebanon. Then we go to Yemen and the Houthis who are controlling the, the, mostly the western side uh, of and southwest of uh, Yemen. Uh, since the early 90s, again, uh, they have uh, been inspired by Islamism in Iran or from Iran. Initially, for years and years, the Islamic Republic of Iran denied any links or involvement with the Houthis until recently when they actually admitted saying yes we are actually training them we are supplying them and we will be the superpower in the Middle East not only against Israel but also against Saudi Arabia the almost puppets of America decided to become the godfather of Islamism this takes us to Iraq and Hash al Shabi. Yes, uh, this uh, movement in Iraq, which was actually supposed to, was supposed to be created uh, and uh, really increased in the 2000s uh, to fight against uh, ISIS or ISIL in Iraq. Uh, the Iranians obviously helped these guys. They've been created, and uh, they initially uh, said we're going to be countering uh, ISIL's terrorism. But in fact, they used this opportunity to take over Iraq without anybody even noticing. So the Iranian regime, in fact, are controlling parts of Iraq. And of course, the, the people in charge are going to be creating their own version of a caliphate against the Sunni side. Now, Iran is also involved with their wider geopolitical battles. Of course, they have been helping Bashar al-Assad in Syria since 2011, again, in the name of fighting against ISIL, ISIS, obviously, in Syria. But in reality, they've actually then created the new bases in Syria, funding so much in terms of the bases across the country to make sure that they are creating the new frontier for slightly more acceptable version of Islamism. In case the idea of Hezbollah and all the other methods fail, they will always have Bashar al-Assad. Now it's also important to mention that most of this goes back to the failure of the Western globalist policies, including people like Jimmy Carter, who betrayed their people in Iran. People like Barack Hussein Obama, who betrayed their people in Iran in 2009. Everything goes back to the wider timeline. Let's go. Yes, 1979, the Iranian revolution was created a new era. Ayatollah Khomeini vowed to export the revolution elsewhere to, across the world. 1983, Beirut of course happened and uh, a lot of the US personnel lost their lives. Iran linked to Hezbollah. 1984, uh, the United States designated Iran as a state sponsor of terrorism, citing support for Hezbollah. In the 1990s, Iran was named the largest state sponsor of terror, funded Hezbollah, Hamas and others. In, in 2019, the US designated the IRGC, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, as a foreign terrorist organization due to regional destabilization efforts. Now, despite all that on the surface in public, 
We still have the Americans, US Democrats and their liberal globalists like Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama and all the others making deals with the Iranian regime, still shaking their hands, giving them money and helping them. Not only them, the British government still refuses to designate the IRGC as a terrorist organization and the problem continues. I hope this short summary helped with the understanding of what's actually going on. Of course, there's much more to it, but I've kind of in this video just want to focus on uh, Iran being the godfather of terrorism and how everything actually goes back to the Western globalists creating this mess in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.